My name is John Bame. Uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I play outside linebacker and I'm also a long snapper. I'm a communications concentration and I'm majoring in political science. Uh, being recognized as part of the 2011 College Football Performance Awards watch list is a great honor. Um, there's a lot of preseason awards out there. Uh, this, this program is strictly focused on statistics and performance, not so much a bias, and I think that means a lot. Um, it's, the program has really grown over the past couple years, and to be a part of the list with other players from around the country is quite an honor. Well, as a linebacker right now, um, I think I've been able to excel at my position because of my quickness and speed. I came in as a wide receiver, so I'm a little, I'm a little bit undersized. Uh, I've been able to bulk up over the years, but I think um, what I've been able to do well is being able to rush off the edge and be a little quicker than the offensive tackle, and also versatility. Um, you know, being able to pass rush is one thing, but then when we go to a nickel package, I stay in the game and we'll go out and cover a receiver. So being able to be versatile at my position is, uh, has been key for success. So if I had to give some advice to a young linebacker um, f for physical attributes, we do a lot of um, different lifts and training through our strength program. Um, one, one thing that I found this summer and a lot of us on the team did was we participated in hot yoga. And that really um, allowed us to become more flexible and work on our core strength. And it seems kind of funny having you know big football players in a room with you know middle-aged women doing yoga. But I mean, the gains that we've seen in our flexibility have been unbelievable. And um, that's one thing that we've done this summer that's been awesome. Also, nutrition is key. Right after you lift, got to get you know some food in your system because you can lift all you want, but if you're malnourished, it's just you're not going to see the gains you want uh, during the season. It's, it's really important to you know, keep your body healthy. And at Davidson, we're very fortunate to have a great training staff. Um, Beth Hayford is a wonderful lady. She's a staple around campus. And you know, really getting into the training room and getting your body healthy is key for a successful year. So given our position as uh, football players on campus and you know, being known around the community, it's really important to give back. Um, I've tried to focus a lot on getting involved in community service Weekly, I'll go over to Davidson Elementary School and uh, tutor elementary students from kindergarten up to fifth grade. And it's cool, you know, growing up, we all had our role models that we looked up to and hope, hope to one day aspire to be like. And uh, going over there, I know there's a good group of football guys that go over to Ada Jenkins, which is a community center, and also Davidson Elementary, and just try and give back and get involved in the community. Um, it's a great way for us to, you know, kind of gain support for the team and, you know, get noticed around the community, but it's also fun to give back and just hang out with these little kids. I think part of uh, being a college uh, student athlete is being well-rounded. And of course, we spend so much time with football and in the film room and on the practice field and in the weight room. But it's also important to you know have a regular college experience and go out and get to meet new people and be involved in certain things. And here at Davidson, there's a lot of opportunities for us to do that. I'm involved in a fraternity, Phi Delta Theta. Um, and within the fraternity, I'm the community service chair. So we like to put on a lot of um, service events around the community and on campus. And being that we're made up of mostly football and baseball players, we try to incorporate athletics into our um, service. And so we'll have events such as bench press for breast cancer, home runs for ALS. Um, and just kind of make fun out of um, giving back to the community. And I also like to get involved in intramural sports, you know. Uh, sometimes it's scary getting with injuries and whatnot, but we can also be pretty competitive in the winter um, with intramural basketball and also in the spring with intramural softball. And just kind of getting away, from, taking a step away from football at times and, you know, going out and experiencing other avenues on campus is a great way to have a good time in college. Going into the season, uh, we've kind of, as a team and senior class, we've kind of stressed a lot of different building points that we want to focus on. And uh, Coach Quinn Daniel, early on in the season, said, "You know, be one and zero. Don't fo don't look ahead to you know a PFL championship or an opponent later on in the year. Focus on the upcoming game that we have and be one and zero in that game. And then after that, move on to the next one and be one and zero that week. So we're really trying to focus on you know, in the now and focusing on the task at hand instead of getting ahead of ourselves and you know, as a senior class, we also came up with a motto, you know, wear the red. And red stands for relentless, enthusiastic, and disciplined. And, you know, it, it kind of it goes with every aspect of football. You know, when you're playing, play with, you know, just be completely relentless. And while you're doing it, 
totally enthusiastic because, you know, other people will build off of that. But at the same time, you need to be disciplined and know your assignment and not let your emotions get to you too much. So um, we, we, every day we stress that. And, and it's not just on the field. It's also being off the field, in the weight room, in the classroom, wearing the red and everything that we do. So I think if we focus on those two goals this year, um, there's, there's a lot of fun ahead for us. Kind of just to give a message out, uh, you know, to the Davidson Wildcat supporters out there. Um, I think it's going to be an awesome year. Like I said before, you know, we're focused on one and zero, and we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. But uh, being being my last year here, uh, something just feels different about this team. There's a great group of senior leadership, a lot of underclassmen that are going to contribute, and I think if you, you know, hop on the train, you're, you'll you'll be along for a great ride. We got a lot of great opponents. Um, there's going to be some challenges along the way, but. I think it's going to be an exciting year for the 2011 Davidson Wildcat football team, and we'd love it if you guys came out and supported us. This is John Bame signing off with the College Football Performance Awards. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Lanny Funston, junior wide receiver for the Davidson Wildcats, number 88, political science major. Being on the 2011 watch list for the uh, College Football Performance Awards is a, is a big individual honor. Um, but, uh, I mean, really, it's, it's, it's a team effort. You know, it's secondary to all our team goals, winning the conference championship and, uh, you know, going out and taking each game by, on a day-by-day -day basis and trying to win, um, you know, every game, every week. Um, it's really, you know, by nomination and and John's nomination is a testament to the to the guys around us. Um, you know, we had a great quarterback last year in John John Karkov, and you know he couldn't have done his job without the offensive line. So, um, you know, it's team effort, and uh, I'm I'm proud to be you know up this award, but um, couldn't do it without everybody else. So, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't really des describe myself as a speed guy. Um, I'm more of a I, I try to go, run good routes and. Um, you know, beat the defensive backs in that manner rather than, than beating with pure speed. Um, and basically, I think my best attribute as, a, attribute as a receiver is just going up and getting the ball when it's in the air and uh, just trying to make every catch. And, you know, Jonathan does a good job putting the ball where it needs to be, and I just try to make him look good. <laughs> I think individually, uh, my, my favorite individual play um, from last year was uh, uh, there's about a minute and a half left against Moorhead State. And, um, we were on our own 30-yard line, down by six points, and uh, Jonathan threw a ball over the middle and I mean, right on target, and I caught it and ran 60 yards and and uh, scored the go-ahead touchdown. That ended up being the winning the winning touchdown for the game. Um, it was a really big it was a really big play for us because we, you know, we really outplayed them all game, but you know they still managed to be ahead, and um, it was only our second win of the season at that point, so we were we were really kind of in. Uh, in scramble mode, trying to get as many wins as we could at that point, and um, it was a really big morale booster for us. Um, I mean, it was a great team effort. The defense played well the entire game and had them held them to just 17 points or 16 points, um, and that was that was really a big win for us. Uh, Davidson's a very tough academic environment. Um, we got to do, you know, we're doing all our own stunts. We do all our own work. We don't really get a whole lot of help, um, and basically our, our goal as a team is to maintain a 3.0 GPA and um, I think that's really a real, realistic goal for everybody on the team is, is trying to graduate with a 3.0. I mean obviously there are different levels for different guys but that's that's about where I'm at. Um, I mean it's, Davidson's a great school. Um, it prepares you very well for, for life after college not just football and um, you know really just just getting through here and, and maintaining good grades and, and playing football and doing stuff outside of school and football. Um, will really prepare you for, for life down the road. All right, to all my teammates, this coming season, we're going to wear the red. We're going to bring it every game. We're one team, one mindset, and we're coming out to be 1-0. To all our fans, uh, I know it's been a tough couple of years. You know, we haven't exactly produced all the wins that we could and should have. Um, we really are looking at a good season this year, and we encourage you all to stay with us. And uh, um, I mean, y'all are, are in for some, some, some excitement. It's going to be a fun year. So uh, we appreciate all your support and couldn't do it without you.